A company's manager estimated that the cost C in dollars of producing N items is C equals 7N plus 350. The company sells each item for 12 bucks. The company makes a profit when total income from selling a quantity of items is greater than the total cost of producing that quantity of items. Which of the following inequalities gives all possible values of N for which the manager estimates that the company will make a profit? We have the cost of producing N items that's given to us. It's C equals 7N plus 350. We're told, and we might know from real life, that you make a profit when your total costs are less than the revenue that you generate from selling those items, right? The income you get from making those sales. So let's figure out what is the amount of money if, if this company is selling N items, which it's produced according to the cost in this equation. If you're getting, um, if you're selling N items, what is the total income, the revenue you're going to get from that sale? Well, you're going to sell each item for 12 bucks. So the revenue, we'll call it R. Well, we'll call it I for income just to be consistent with the problem. The income is 12N, 12 times N. So when do we make a profit? We make a profit when I is greater than C, right? The income is greater than the cost. So we can go ahead and set this up. When we get 12N is greater than 7N plus 350, we know we've made a profit. So for all Ns that satisfy this inequality, we're going to have a profitable product. So now we just got to do a little bit of algebra here. So subtract 7N from both sides. We get 5N is greater than 350. Divide both sides by 5. And we get N is greater than 70. And... That would be the answer. A sneaky question here, especially if you're not super familiar with dealing with profits and losses and costs. This is really an economics question. Um, if you can set up the inequality, you're good. But I think that's the challenge of the question. That step where I said, well, the income is 12 times n, and then you have to say that that income 12n is greater than the cost, 7n plus 350, that's the crux point. If you get that, then it's just trivial from there. You just solve the inequality. But the challenge of this one is reading this pretty long question and coming up with a, an expression or an inequality that you can then solve. I suppose in theory you could plug in, you could just pick different n, so pick like n is 50, see how much that costs and see how much you would get from the sale. Uh, and then you could test you know different ends and see which one works. But you know that is not exactly reliable. So a bit of a tricky question. Again, this focus on inequalities is, I think, where they're moving. Not just equations, but more inequalities. So definitely something to review if you're not comfortable with that topic.